Today, let's make some fun little water bottle tags, drink mix holders using the Jungle Safari Collection. Hey guys, it's Beth, welcome. Today, I'm going to be using the Jungle Safari Collection. Uh, this is a collection I recently started. It's by Echo Park. I have pretty much cut out all of the other pieces um, from this cover sheet. I kind of harvested the images that were down below to use as additional embellishments along with stickers. So this is what I have left of the cover sheet. This is my second project. So it's part two of the Jungle Safari collection and me using it up. Today we are going to make some quick and fun little water bottle tags that you can store little uh, drink mix pouches in. They could be great for just little gifts for kids or favors from a party or even if you were doing vacation Bible school, depending on how many kids there were, I think these might be fun for that. So let's get started. I'm starting with a scrap here, just making sure it is six inches wide. The tags are six inches long by two and a half inches wide. So you could easily do this with six by six paper as well. I have used six by six in the past. You can get two tags for one six by six. I wanted a variety of patterns for my tags today. So I'm pulling in another sheet, like a scrap, bigger scrap sheet, and going to get four tags out of these two patterns as well. And I like the fact that it's double-sided so I can, you know, use both sides to add more variety to the tag and you will be able to see some of the patterns on the back side of the tags as well. Now that my tags are cut, I'm pulling out my scoreboard. You can use your trimmer, whatever scoring method you use. You just need to score two inches down from the top. And this fold will allow you to or will allow the tag to hang off of the bottle a little prettier so you fold it there and it kind of instead of kind of being pushed out by the fatter part of the bottle it'll hang a lot cleaner. So you just need to be aware of what the top of your tag is if you have directional paper because in my case you know, I do have double-sided, so even though one side might not be directional, I need to make sure I'm paying attention to the other side. And then I like to go ahead and do the folds just so the next step will be a little bit easier. <laughs> you can see me here getting confused which side I wanted to be out, like it really matters with the fold. I can always go back and fix it later, but... I have a two inch scallop circle punch and I'm just centering it as best as I can on that top two inch section and then punching. You can use, it doesn't have to be scalloped, you could use a regular circle and I would say don't go any smaller than one and a half inches because you want to make sure it's going to fit over the top of the, like the very top of the bottle. But if you go over two inches, you need to make sure it's going to work and not just fall down the bottle if it's wider than the bottle. Now I'm looking through my scraps. The pocket piece of the tag needs to be two and a half inches wide by two inches high. And so I am auditioning these pieces thinking that I might be able to use them and not paying attention to the fact that they're not two inches wide. So here I finally figured that out. So I go for a bigger piece of scrap and then I'm using the leftover pieces that I cut off of the bigger scraps for the tag piece. So whenever you make this with six by six paper, you can actually use pretty much the whole sheet because whatever you don't use for the tag, those work perfectly, the scraps left work perfectly for the pockets. Now that I have all of my pocket pieces cut, I'm just kind of laying out all of my tags and then auditioning which pocket pattern I want on which tag pattern. And this is just to make sure that I don't end up at the very end with two of the same or, you know, two that don't look good together, which has happened many times. Now this step is not really necessary. I'm just taking a small 
circle punch to create a notch at the top of the pocket. Again, you don't have to do it. I think this is the first time I've actually used the knot punch on the pockets for these tags. But sometimes it just makes it more noticeable that it's a pocket. And depending on what you're putting in there, it's easier to grab out of. So once you get your pockets ready, you just glue on both sides and the bottom. Just don't glue the top down or you won't have a pocket. And then since I'm using wet glue, I like to burnish it down with my bone folder. I will say wet glue works best for these pockets just from the fact that it's a small pocket. And if you use it, like tape of any kind for your adhesive, the tape tends to be wider. Like usually, unless you're using like the th really thin score tape, it tends to be wider and takes that precious pocket space. And also the glue, the wet glue will actually dry. The tapes won't and they will leave like stickiness inside your pocket that things can get stuck on. Just something to keep in mind. Now that I have all of my pockets on, I can embellish. So what I'm doing is just laying out again all of my tags so I can kind of get an idea of what embellishments I want to put on which tag. I'm pulling out some of the items that I fussy cut out of the pad cover to embellish with, as well as some of the ephemera pieces that came in the coordinating ephemera pack. And then I also use some stickers. There's no right or wrong, um, just plain, and you see me move things around and kind of reposition. So it's really just whatever you want on your tag. And I'm trying to use up some of those little pieces from the ephemera pack to get them used as well. So I decided that there's one that I'm going to use a sticker on, but I don't want to put it on just yet. So I auditioned it, stuck it back on the sheet, and we'll come back to it. I'm using wet glue on my embellishments here, and so you notice that I put uh, glue all over the back of that monkey, and you want to make, luckily it didn't, I didn't push it down at the top, but you want to make sure that if you have embellishments that hang over the top of your tag, that you don't glue them down. So see, I did it on the tiger there and realized I needed to take the glue off his head or he was going to stick, his head would stick to the tag and then that would totally glue my pocket shut. So sometimes it takes me a minute, but I usually get there. On this particular tag, I decided I wanted something to go behind the parrot toucan, not sure which one that is. And so I just found one of the branding strips that had the wood grain, just kind of something neutral, something simple to go behind my circle die cut there. And again, I'm just making sure that if it goes over the top, that over the top of the pocket, that it's not gluing the pocket shut in any way. So that's all I'm doing is just going through and embellishing. So this is kind of the fun part. The whole process was pretty quick and easy, but this was the fun part of just getting to create some little scenes and use some of the fun embellishments that came with the collection. So here are the tags we made. Pretty simple, but fun. Great for um, if you wanted to gift a little treat to a kid, or you know, these would make great party favors. But basically, you have that little pocket so you can tuck in a little drink powder mix. It fits right in there, and then with the hole we made, it also sits right there on top of the water bottle. So. Just something different uh, that I decided to do with this collection. There will be a blog post link below for the dimensions, that way you don't have to write them down. Um, like I said, they were really quick to make, 
and I, you really didn't even need to make the notch in them. Like if you don't want to, you don't have to make the notch because I think there were a couple I ended up covering the notch anyway, so you didn't really see it. But it's really more like if you put something small in there, you want to make sure, like say you wanted to tuck in a piece of candy or a chocolate bar, it's just sometimes makes it easier to notice that it's a pocket. So that's my project number two from the Jungle Safari collection. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.